When a man is first betrayed, everything he does, he obsesses with how to get his wife back. And ironically, this is the thing that drives her away. If you want to get her back, then you have to pull away. You have to say, I care less than you do because I'm not going to be treated this way. If you're going to treat me this way, then I don't care about you at all. And that's hard to do because you love her and you're obsessed. Rejection breeds obsession. So you're like, well, how do I change? How do I make things different? One, join the Move On After Betrayal program. It's a game plan. I know I'm just doing this plug. And it's shameless. It is shameless because it works. The program works. We've had 2,000, 3,000 guys, I think, go through the program now. We have 50, 60 guys every month join and they are are all successful. The only guys who aren't successful in the program are the guys who just do the false lift, the false positive emotional lift of, hey, I joined something. Great. I feel like I'm doing something. And then they just don't even log in and don't do the work. I don't understand that. It's like you have, out of all the things in your life, your life is falling apart and you join and then you don't do anything with it. It's like your wife is leaving you. She's cheating on you. She's taking the kids. She's got a restraining order on you because you're so obsessed. You can't leave her alone and you have the keys of the kingdom and yet you do nothing. That is insane. Like that makes absolutely no sense. And that's one of the reasons why not only do I hate working with guys because they will wait till they are pushed all the way into the corner and they are forced to change. Change is pain, but pain is good. But at the same time, once they make that shift, now they're like, I'm all in. I'm going to do it. I'm convicted. I'm going to make this happen. But they have the keys to the kingdom, but they don't do anything with it. That doesn't make any sense to me. Your kids suffer. You lose your job because you can't even focus. Yet you have the thing right in front of you, but you won't do it because you're so afraid. You're so afraid of your own power. It makes no sense. Do it. Embrace it. Go into it. Embrace that pain. Set up a call with one of our guys. Yes, this is a shameless plug. Why? Because you deserve to move forward. You don't deserve to take this crap. You don't deserve to give somebody more when they're taking everything. No, stop rewarding her behavior. Join us brothers. We'll give you conviction. We'll show you how to move forward powerfully. We'll show you how to tell her no. We'll show you how to get back into your power to where she's like, oh, well, uh, maybe I made a mistake leaving this guy. I didn't know my husband was quite the badass. Or you'll say, she's not doing anything. She continues to manipulate. She continues to try to make false accusations, try to destroy my reputation, costing me thousands in legal bills. We'll put a stop to that. We'll show you exactly how to turn that around within two weeks to get your power back. Go in the direction you want to go and stop following all this bullshit that she's doing. It's ridiculous. Why are we rewarding bad behavior? She cheated on you. Don't give her that. Don't do more. Do less. Show her you're not to be trifled with. If you don't mess around with you, you don't mess around with my family. You're the man. Protect your family. Join the program. We'll give you fire, brother. We'll give you conviction. We'll show you exactly what you need to move forward powerfully and never go through this ever again.